Hey, dude, have you seen our film? Oh, yeah, I mean, it looks really amazing, Olaf. I mean, I, I mean, I think it looks kind of cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I did when I was a teenager. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. It's summer! Hey, everyone, what's up? It's me, Byron, the Multiple Interests Men. And today, I'm going to be doing a review on one of the, you know, one of the most iconic and popular Disney movies of all time. I could be considered, I mean, it is a musical, but it can be considered as, like, a Disney princess film. But this one is just, this one's a modern Disney film. It's really popular, but it's been overhyped, I mean, overhyped for quite a while, and that is Frozen. Now, before I get into it, I just want to let you know that this video will be kid-friendly, because, like, I'm not going to use any cussing or do anything or something. This will, and this will be a really good review. It's a positive review, so this is something that you will not miss. So the movie is based on some kind of a fairy tale called The Snow Queen. Here's the plot of the film. When their kingdom becomes trapped in perpetual winter, fearless Anna, played by Kristen Bell, joins forces with mountaineer Kristoff, played by Jonathan Groff, and his reindeer sidekick to find Anna's sister. Snow Queen Elsa, played by Idina Menzel, or, you know, I don't know how to pronounce her, her, you know, her first name, but yeah, and break her icy spell. Although her, their epic journey leads them to encounters with mystical trolls, a comedic snowman named Olaf, played by Josh Gad, harsh conditions, and magic at every turn. Anna and Kristoff bravely push onward in a race to save their kingdom from winter's cold grip. So that's basically the plot of the film. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I do have a few words to say regarding Frozen. This one is really fun for kids, especially for a musical. Like, most of the songs are really kid-friendly. I mean, they're really good. Disney Disney has done a good job with them. But the only thing that, that kind of gets me in, in, like, in a bad way is that the movie's kind of overrated. By overrated, I mean... One of the songs were overplayed a bit, like, you know, the song Let It Go was played so many times, even on one of the one of the radio stations I used to listen to when I was a teenager, it was like, wow, I mean, it was used too much. I mean, I know they had a sing, uh, sing-along edition, they had a bunch of certain things, like, they had theme park attractions, a ton of merchandise, and everything they have, like, it, it's just really cool, but... But it, you know, has been overhyped for quite a while. But yeah, I mean, for the rest, some other songs are not really too overrated as much as Let It Go has been. But I know there is a cover created by, you know, the, the one that was made by Demi Lovato. Not the original, but the remake. I mean, not the remake, but like the cover. I mean, that one was alright, but for the rest, and I mean, it's been alright. But also, when I first watched a few trailers and saw some advertisements of the film. I did not know that was going to be, like, you know, a musical. But I did see some TV spots about it, and it did kind of look like a musical a bit, but when I watched the film, it was actually an actual musical that I did not even expect, but it, but it was a classic. But, you know, I mean, Frozen is still kind of good, but overrated, to be honest, you know. the char But the characters were well done. The storyline was just all right. You know, you know, it's based on this, based on this fairy tale called the Snow Queen or whatsoever. But, but you know what I mean. I mean, the rest. I mean, the music is all right. The singing is really beautiful, especially one scene. Uh, some scenes are beautiful. Some scenes are kind of intense. But you know, it's just it's just a movie for everyone. But you know, there's nothing much I gotta say. But there's some characters that are cool. Some characters are cute. Some some of them, some others are beautiful. But like the rest is all right. The 3D animation is just, I mean, it, it looks just all right. I mean, it looks good, but for the most part, it's just, you know, it's just a film that, you know, for families. But, you know, people love it. People hate it. I mean, some people hate it because of the songs that annoy them or whatsoever. Some, some people love it because, you know, of, you know, because of how relevant it is and that that's kid friendly and whatsoever. Some people think it's all right because it's overrated that they really realize but well including me but for the most part it's just, you know it's just a it's just a movie that most people will love you know it's for all ages i mean not everybody's gonna agree with me on that but you know i, I don't care i did not make the film it, it's only disney did but you know 
I kind of liked Frozen, but I'm hoping to see Frozen 2 because it's already on theaters. I know we got this short called Frozen Fever. I haven't, I have not seen it, but it looks really gorgeous. It looks really cute. But the rest just, I mean, fro I mean, the only thing I say is Frozen is just kind of a mix, kind of a mixed film, honestly. What's really crazy is that Frozen is the second highest grossing animated film of all time, and it made like 1.276 billion U.S. dollars in the box office. I mean. At like every box office worldwide and that's just like crazy well mainly the u.s but is it, it is crazy no matter what and that's why i give it a three out of five you know if you love frozen so much go check it out on dvd if you haven't but if you haven't seen the sequel go check it out if you want to see it but if you don't want to that's fine if you hate frozen just don't even pay atten attention to it at all and that is totally fine if you don't like it if you're neutral with it that is also fine as well same with the people who who don't even want to see it, or if they want to see it, that's perfectly fine. Well, with the sequel, of course, but yeah. So, that's all I gotta say, guys. That is my review on Frozen, so... For me, once again, I have not seen Frozen 2, but I am planning to see it in theaters. I really hope that it could be ten times better than the first movie, but we'll have to wait and see. And I know they have different songs, but like, one of them is returning from the first film, but the rest are going to be new, so I hope they, they are not as overrated as Let Go was and such, so I'm, I'm just hoping for it. So that, that is my review on Frozen. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below regarding your opinion on it and whatever. This is me, Byron, signing off. Peace. Oh, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. So see you later.